Hello everyone. Welcome to my place. What is total destruction? It can be anything that kill human life property everything we can be looking at forest fires we can be looking at a nuclear bomb many things or we can look at Solomon and Gomorrah was totally destroyed by God. Total destruction is what happened to those two cities. So you may wonder why I am talking about this. You just gonna have to wait. <clears throat> so, <clears throat> someone left me an interesting message, and I'm gonna break it down, and we're gonna take it from there. Okay. Jerry Jones, yeah, that's me. We are Jehovah Witnesses. So he's admitting he's a Jehovah Witness. Heck, I was a Jehovah Witness. Many of us was Jehovah Witnesses. So let's continue. Are looking forward to the end of false religion. Well, we still do. Even when we left Watchtower. <clears throat> um, other religions is out there knows that we are in the last days. Cults themselves is predicting the end of the world to keep the members to stay in with them so they can um, what's the word I'm looking for to uh, it's like Christ mentioned like a mother hen pulling all her babies toward her protect them yeah to protect them to keep their members to stay in because they the religion or the cults group to protect their members so let's go a little bit further what I'm not done yet so you think you're the only religion can see what's going on, Jehovah's Witnesses? Wow. I'm not finding anything for job voices. That's Siri you heard in the background. On my other iPhone. Okay. Now They're looking forward to the end of false religions. How many religions can you say would admit that? All of them. They even try getting rid of Jehovah's Witnesses for years. Really? Why? would 
any country will get rid of the righteous perfect religion that all religions should follow the path of the righteous one are you saying that every religion should be like you Jehovah Witnesses look up the purple triangle and when UN cries out for peace and security then southern wipes why in the war he says that out religion first of all let's go to uh, peace and security the Bible never mentioned the UN or people like me or Gentiles because there's only two groups in the Bible and we're not talking about the 144,000 we're talking about two groups in the Bible the Jewish people and the Gentiles now <clears throat> In the Bible, in the Old Testament, the uh, Jewish people had peace and security when they was following the guidelines that was written on the tablets. was given to Moses or the second time that they was written down because remember Moses destroyed the first set of the tablets because the Jewish people was down below the mountain dancing singing to a golden calf So let's get back to the main thing. When the Jewish people had peace and security, that's when all their enemies left them alone. Till they started worshiping other false gods. And they were sacrificing their children to these false gods. Which the Bible says even the worst ones that was despicable to him was almost clean compared to what the Jewish people was doing at that time. So basically the wicked became the righteous and the righteous was more wicked than the wicked don't ask me try to say that real fast and that's when he started sending many people like Jeremiah and them tell them that change your ways or you will lose everything and other false prophets will say, no, 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 don't listen to him. We know we got peace and security. That means they have peace. And they have security that they are not being torture about other groups of people at that time that was fighting against the Jewish people so what happened you know your history what 
Nebuchadnezzar did. Five Eight, yeah, 587 BC. Last place in the land of Israel was Jerusalem. Was the last one to fall. And the first temple was destroyed. <clears throat> 18th reign of Nebuchadnezzar when he was on the throne. So there was no more peace and security. So this peace security throughout the Bible is talking about the Jewish people. Not anyone else. So let's ver verify that. Okay, now let's go to the next one. Then, it's talking about uh, then sudden, okay, it's talking about wiping out, um, out religion. And then he wrote, you heard it from us first. Yeah, because I was in your false religion for many years. From 1970 to 1990. And from there, I was spiritual weak, going off and on. But I was still doctrinated in my brain. And that never leaves you. What if I left the true religion? Why am I out here in the world and not back in the place where salvation and true peace is in Jehovah's organization. See, we was all doctrinated just like any other cults. So, I love this last part too. Can't say you didn't know because you chose not to know. It's not because I didn't know the teaching. I still have it in my head. It can be like a picture of a porn that once in a while your mind can go back to it. Take you back to the darkness of it. That's where a watchtower is. It's like por pornography. Or better yet. On YouTube. There's someone loaded up somebody's video of a woman torturing her children and when you see that in your head it stays there you can imagine a father torturing children but like this mother or stepmother was doing I can't believe stuff like this goes on in, goes on into this, this war, wicked world
this person we're talking about he has a name on the internet you got from the start off the conversation he had with me he's a Jehovah Witness he's talking about the destru total destruction of all false religion maybe some of y'all already getting where I'm getting that is his name total destruction so I left him a comment I said you are looking for total destruction of false religion and you are even looking for the destruction of your religion too how sad this guy wants to see his religion and other religions to be completely destroyed because he fell to do any research like all of us has done about Jehovah's Witnesses and Watchtower but he rather see his whole religion to be destroyed now I do have the right to say that's going to come true because the Bible says all religions will be destroyed false religions and Christ warns us to get out before it's too late we got out of Jehovah's Witnesses none of us would have got out if this was the real truth none of us would have got out so apparently we have reasons we follow Christ's words we left our families we left our friends in the organization the kingdom halls to be with Christ to serve Christ we gave up everything for Christ and what did you give up Jehovah's Witnesses nothing you force your families to become Jehovah Witnesses or you was going to shun them and that has happened in many groups of people have done that to their families I seen my own mother did it to her own mother and people don't care what religion you are but when they see evidence that it's changing you from a good person to a person that they don't even know anymore then there's something wrong with your religion so total destruction you will see the outcome that your God Jehovah is so powerless he will not cannot help you when Christ comes to destroy all false religions and every single dangerous cult so that's two categories job witnesses you are in you are a dangerous cult 
and you are a false religion. So people take the word of totally destruction watch yourself to be destroyed because remember his words they're the only ones announcing admitting that the world's going to be end, ended and a false religion will be destroyed is that our wisdom or our ignorance which I already brought that out before every single person on this world knows we are so close to the end but not the real end because that's after the thousand years then after the destruction of Satan the devil and the wicked then there would be true peace and security worldwide forever so thank you for stopping by and enjoy your week and thank you very much. Bye-bye.